What's up, I'm Troubleshoot, let's quickly speak Siege X and a couple of important fixes if you're not able to launch up your game at all, whether you're playing on Steam, Ubisoft or anywhere else. So to begin, there's a couple of key pointers. First of all, obviously make sure your system is up to date, that's Windows, and of course, most importantly, your graphics card driver, whether it's Nvidia, AMD or Intel, all of which you'll find a link to down below. Make sure it's up to date, reboot your PC and see if it's fixed. If it's not, let's check out the anti-cheat. If you've got the game on Uplay, head across to Siege X in your library, click the three dots just under it, and then choose Manage, followed by Properties, then Installation, and here, open folder. This will take you straight to where the game is installed. Now for Steam, the steps are very simple. I don't have it here, but if I did, just right click it, manage and choose browse local files. And just like that, you'll be taken to the same place. All we need to do inside of here is open up the battle eye folder and locate uninstall battle eye. Just double click, then choose yes when you see this pop up. And just like that, battle eye should be uninstalled. Hit OK, then just double click install battle eye to reinstall it, and bam, there we go. Now that we've reinstalled the ANSI sheet, things should be working, and we can fire up the game as usual. While we're still here, head back and then into the support folder here, followed by Readist, and inside of here, you'll find Visual C++ Runtime 2010, 12, 19, and the DirectX Runtime. DirectX should be installed by your graphics driver, so you don't need to worry about this, but VS 2010, open this folder and run this file here, which will pop up with something like this. Choose Repair, Next, and click through it, or if it's not installed, it could very easily be the cause of your issues. Do the same for VS 2012 runtime, as such, Repair, or Install, and finally 2019 as well. Tick and Install. This last one installs quite a few, so 2015 to 2022. There's a whole bunch of these that you're installing, but they are used by Siege and many other programs. Once you've done this, you should hopefully be able to launch up the game, especially if one of these wasn't installed properly, which usually happens when you first install the game through Steam or Ubisoft Connect. If this isn't working and you're playing on Steam, open up Steam, hit Settings in the top left, followed by Settings, and then under the Interface tab, check out Client Beta Participation and make sure that this is set to No Beta Chosen. If there's a new update with some things being tested in the Steam overlay and stuff like that, they could be causing issues, especially with the game's anti-cheat, stopping you from playing the game or launching it entirely. Speaking of, I'd highly recommend turning off all third-party overlays, whether you're using RTSS, River Tuner, MSI Afterburner, even the Discord overlay, just try to turn off all of your overlays or just restart your PC and with absolutely nothing running, open up Steam or Ubisoft and fire up the game to see if that fixes your issue. And of course, a random super important note, if while you're launching the game, you happen to alt tab at all, this can oftentimes cause the game to crash. So if you get a notification or anything, just ignore it until you actually see the main menu, then tab out. Alt tab here or even in just a few seconds can very easily cause it to crash out entirely. Now, if none of those things worked, we can try clearing our game settings to reset our graphic settings, for example, which could be causing the game to crash on launch or just not launch at all. Hold Start and press E or the Windows key and E to bring up a new file browser. Then head across to Documents, followed by a folder called My Games. Inside of here, you'll find Rainbow Six Siege. Open this folder, then either your Steam ID or Ubisoft ID, whatever folder you have here, open it, and you'll finally have gamesettings.ini. You can open this with a text editor if you really know what you're doing, or preferably just delete this file, and the next time you launch up the game, the default graphic settings will be used, things like that. Keep in mind, things like your sensitivity is stored in this file here, so you may need to reset some other settings as well. If you're a Steam user, you'll still have Ubisoft Connect installed, and you'll probably need to sign into it to play the game in the first place. But if you have it on Steam, Steam, try launching it from Ubisoft Connect instead of Steam to see if that fixes things. When you open up Ubisoft Connect, head to Library, and you'll find Rainbow Six Siege X, except it'll have a small Steam icon down here somewhere, saying it's installed through Steam. You can click Play here and play it as usual. Hopefully, if it happens to work, then it's probably Steam or at least Steam's integration with the game causing issues somewhere on your system. Now, if you haven't already, 
a very good thing to try and do is to verify your game files. This may take a while and might not fix anything for you, but if any game files happen to be corrupted, this will fix them. If you're playing the game in Ubisoft Connect, find it, click the three dots, and then choose under Manage Verify Files. If you're on Steam, right-click the game, click Properties, and on the Installed Files tab, make sure to click Verify Integrity of Game Files here. Once you do so, the platform will run through all of your installed game files and make sure everything matches what it should be. It's all up to date, things like that. And if anything's corrupt, it'll be fixed here. Now, if things are still unhappy, you can try launching explicitly in DirectX 11 or 12 mode. Either one may work for you or removing the option might work as well. Inside of Ubisoft Connect, head to the game, click the settings wheel, then choose properties and under general inside of here, you can add launch arguments like hyphen DX11 or DX12 to launch it in either specific runtime, or you could remove it entirely to let the game pick. Also, if you're on Steam, right click the game, properties, and inside of here under launch options, do the same, DX11 or DX12. And with that, you should at least have your problem solved here. Pretty much all game crashes on startup can be solved with these very simple things. If not, it could likely be an outdated graphics driver. So even if you've updated recently, just try downloading and reinstalling the latest graphics driver or preferably clean installing using something like display driver uninstaller. You'll find a link down below and that should hopefully get things working smoothly again. Siegex is of course just Rainbow Six Siege with a few new features. So at least the majority of bugs should be more than worked out by now as we're already on year 10, but a lot of people are still having issues. And of course you can get it for free. So there's going to be a ton more people with problems, even if the percentage of players stays about the same. Anyways, that's really that. Hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.